happy Tuesday. Welcome, welcome to my stamp room. I am excited to be with you today. I am popping on a few minutes early to let Facebook know that I've gone live and gives you a chance to log on and say hi. We have lots of exciting things today because this, today it's the start of our new holiday catalog, which I still call it the holiday catalog. Stampin' Up! calls it the July to December catalog. And for the first time ever in my 14 years of being a demonstrator, we are having a second celebration. Yes, for the month of August and September, when you place an order, you can earn free products out of celebration. And it is so exciting. So I have decided that I'm going to do a celebration week each week showcasing the beautiful products that you can earn free. And today I'm picking one of my top favorites and I can't wait to share that with you. But I do have some things I need to share with you. I'm just checking my settings, making sure my uh, comments are working and everything is good. Good morning, Cheryl. Thanks for joining. I saw your message. You did not miss me. Um, I was going to go live last night. I usually do it Monday nights and we were dog sitting and I wasn't sure what time my brother and sister-in-law were coming home and I just thought, no, my luck, I'd start the video, they would come, and i just like, well, let's just wait till this morning. And then I was just, they ended up coming home late, so I was waiting for my brother-in-law to pick up the dog, and so the house could be nice and quiet for us to, us to chat. Okay, so, as you know, each week I go live, I go live in my Stamp With Ann group, and then I usually try to pop on and do another Facebook Live sometime throughout the week. Last week was a little bit crazy, as I said, we were dog sitting, um, so I was just trying to find that quiet moment in the house, but I also know that's part of life. Um, so I decided to do a Tuesday morning crafting, which is actually kind of fun because today is the kickoff. Like I said, we're starting with these new catalogs. So if you are on my mailing list or have purchased from me in the last six months, you would have received your copy. You should have received it by now because I mailed it out two weeks ago. If you think you should have received a copy and you did not, please let me know and I will make sure um, to check on that and then resend one out if needed. So as you know, my name is Ann Granger. I have been crafting for 14 years and I'm loving every minute of it. I can't wait to see where the journey takes me for the next 14 or 25 years or however long I'm crafting. Um, my backbone is teaching. I work in the education system, so I love sharing my crafting with others. It's a great way for me to de-stress. Um, it's a great a way to socialize and I just love sharing what I'm doing with other people and that just makes me happy to watch new people when they stamp or watch people crafters when they create a project that just brings my heart makes my heart so happy you can find me on social media I'm a stamp with Anne and also be sure to follow me on Instagram YouTube and Facebook which is where you are right now um, plus I also have a blog where I, where I post daily uh, post four times a week I try to go Monday Wednesday Friday and Sunday that's my kind of been working schedule I've been working on and on YouTube you can find me under Ann Granger so please make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel I am trying to build that presence so that I can eventually do YouTube lives um, and you, of course you need a presence you need um, I think you need 10,000 subscribers so we're starting to build that so I'm slowly going and we're getting there but hopefully that is my end goal one day is to be able to do that um, and make sure you tell your crafting friends because guess what? If we're having fun, they're going to want to have fun too. So make sure you share with them. As you also know, I'm, I'm the team leader of stamp to create I have an amazing group of over 70 ladies from the East Coast to the West Coast, and they are my family. I love them to pieces. Um, I just feel like... Yeah, like they're my, they're my family. We're there to support each other through the good, the bad, the ugly, and we're cheering on great, big successes, little successes, and it's just so much fun. If that is something you want to join in, we would love to have you. And right now during Stampin' Up! Celebration Promotion, you've got, they've got an amazing deal that I'm going to share with you later. So if you're looking to, you know, share, share a group or share crafting with a group of like craft-minded people, you're looking for a community, um, where you know we do weekly challenges, there's prizes. Um, if you want to earn a discount on your products, if you are just you love stamping up and you have big wish shopping lists, then you know what? You should join just for the discount because you're gonna get 20% off, and that is an amazing deal. And you can get up to 25 depending on your title. Um, we have like you get to see sneak peeks early, like we're I'm gonna see, soon we're gonna see the new next catalog and you always get to see those things early. I know I have a few of my downline on here right now and I'm sure they could tell you the same thing. 
They love our group. Our group is an amazing group. So if that's something you've been thinking about or you're not sure if you want to learn more about it, let me know. I would love to have you join us. Um, our My Stamp to Create team is amazing. Like I said, we are a group, great, great group of ladies. Um, uh, so, and I will post the link to my join team so you can see what we're all about. Um, and just, uh, can I ask you a favor? Make sure you share my video um, once it's posted to my blog or YouTube. Share with your friends, tell your friends, have them join our group because that's how we all have fun and that's how I learn and I grow and you learn and you grow. So that's what we want to do. We want to grow and be one big happy community. All right, we've got lots to share today. We're actually going to do a little bit of creating on the fly. So hopefully I have some people on here that can help me with the questions. I know it's um, a Tuesday morning and some people are working. But if you're here, it's going to be, I want to ask you, like we're going to be asking you questions. So you're going to help me create the project. I do have a design in mind. I have picked the products we will be using, but you guys are going to help to pick me, help me pick the end result. And then I have a couple to share with you. So I'm going to flip the camera. We have a little bit of updates to do, and then I will get started with our project. So like I said, we are showcasing one of my favorites that you can earn free from the celebration catalog for the month of August and December. And then the one thing you're going to want to know about this, this is while supplies last. So things are going to sell out very quickly. Um, so you are going to want to order early to make sure you get what you, 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 uh, the products you want. Okay. And now hold on and close your eyes and flip the camera and we'll be right back. Okay, if someone could just tell me how my screen looks, that would be great. I can see, so I can see if you can see everything. You can give me a thumbs up or a love. Oh, yay, Cheryl, you got yours. I hope you're enjoying that catalog. Um, it's a great catalog. Okay, um, I think my view looks great, but I'll give it a few minutes so someone can just let me know. Okay, so as I said, today is the day our new mini catalog starts. It is our July to December. It was supposed to start in July and go to December, but with the global pandemic shipping problems across the globe, Stampin' Up! decided to push it back one more extra month to make sure they had product in the warehouse. And as I said, today is the first time in the 14 years I've been a demonstrator, we've had a second celebration in the year. So this celebration, and I get to actually show you the catalog, I'm so excited. And the celebration, um, so with a $60 order, you can earn a level one for free. So they're, they are here with this $60. So you can choose from, this Be Dazzling Designer Series paper, or you can choose from the Penguin paper, which is one of my top favorites, or you can choose the Feel Like Home Stamp Set, or the beautiful Pan Pen, which goes with the Hand Pen Suite in the uh, annual catalog. This gorgeous paper, which is the Peaceful Prince, it's uh, 12 by 12, and it has very beautiful traditional colors. I actually did a Facebook Live sneak peek so if you want to go back and see some of those products, you can. And then you can get the sheep or the sheep dies and then or the textures and frames. I can't wait to show you the card I made with this. But then if you place a $120 order, you can order the summer shadow dies for free or the delicate dallies for free, which this stamp set is beautiful. I have mine on order and I cannot wait to share that with you. So, and then obviously you can also, if you're hostess, you could choose a free in word stamp set. So that's pretty exciting. Okay, so I'm gonna come back to this, but I wanna share with you just a few reminders. If you're local, um, I am starting my in-person classes, so I'm excited for that. So watch for, um, they are starting to fill up very quickly. So if you're thinking about joining, um, uh, make sure you uh, join sooner than later because they are selling out. Just a reminder that this our Stamp the Summer Away Promotion is on till the end of August. So with every $50 order, order, you earn a ticket. If you attend one of my classes, you're gonna earn a ticket. And if you bring a new friend to me who purchases from me, you're gonna earn two tickets. And we're starting to get tickets in that bin, so we will be drawing prizes probably next week on our Facebook Live. I'll probably draw a prize or do like jump on quickly in my group and draw a prize. Okay, so as I said to you today, we are showcasing so this is one of my favorites. This is the Penguin Place with the coordinating punch. So here's the coordinating punch. And this punch actually punches out this guy, so this penguin. Or you can cut like 
black paper, do a body in black, and then you could do the like this part in white and then his feet. So there's that. But the neat thing Stampin' Up! done is they have coordinated this paper, which is called Penguin Playmates, from the celebration. So with a $60 order, you could choose this penguin paper for free, which I highly, highly recommend. It's absolutely adorable. Um, and then you can get the, pe the bundle. So the neat thing about this is this paper will actually punch out this little guy right here. How cute is that? So you actually have pieces in here that you can punch out. Plus, there's so many cute images in this paper. Um, that you can cut out like it's just it's it's so cute like look at these papers right here super cute so that and the neat thing about this is when you join Stampin' Up if you want to join my team in my community we're gonna say join my crafting community um during celebration so that's August and September you get to pick out a free bundle for free and you actually get to choose from uh, three six twelve different bundles that you can choose from when you join that is an amazing deal um so these are the bundles i do have some of the bundles to share with you at the end um i want to do the project and then i'm going to share with you and then i actually sat down last on the weekend and created a whole bunch of projects made with this penguin paper and penguin stamp set because i just wanted to give you some more ideas and i will be showcasing them on my blog and social media this week so we will come back to this but let's get into our project Okay, so my project today is I've actually used the Global Design Sketch Challenge from last week, which was sketch number two, 302. I am a huge fan of sketch challenges or sketches. I just love it. It's like, you know, when you're trying to craft and you're not sure what to do, I go for a sketch and then it's like a mystery. You have to figure it out solving that mystery with paper, inks, and stamps. And that's one of my favorites. So we are using a thick white, and this is where you guys get to help me decide what we're going to create. I'm so excited. So we're gonna use the Penguin Place stamp set. And uh, actually, no, we're not using that. I just wanted to show you that. We're actually using a different stamp set, um, but I wanted to show you that at Core Days. But we are using the Penguin Paper DSP. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull out the papers, and you guys are gonna help me pick my patterns. It's kind of like creating on the fly. And it's a great way for you guys to see how my thought process goes when I'm creating um, a, a layout. Okay, so we have two card bases. We have Misty Moonlight and Fresh Freesia. Which card base would you guys like to use? I would love to know. Misty Moonlight or Fresh Freesia? So if you're on, vote. And when we see some people come through with comments, we will pick a couple there. Oh. Ooh, Cheryl says fresh freesia. Okay, you were the first one to comment, Cheryl, so we are going to do that. So we are going to prep this down. So we're just gonna move this off to the side for a minute and we're gonna work with this one. So now what we need is we need six pieces of paper cut at three quarters of an inch by um, three and three quarters. So here are my papers. Now you get to help me pick the papers. Which patterns would you like? So we're cutting them into strips. So there's this one. So we'll say this is A, paper A, and this is the background. This is paper B with the background. This is paper C. with the background. This is paper D with the background. And this is paper E with the background. So which ones we need? Uh, we actually need six patterns. So I could do one of each, but is there one that you would like to see more than the other? Let me know. So these are your patterns. So A, B, C, D, and E. Hmm. Definitely D. So one, two, three, A, B, C, D. Okay, so definitely D, we can do that one. So let's cut that into a strip. And then 
So now when I was cutting these into strips, I kind of made sure I had um, some images that I really liked. <laughs> so I might just do a bit of an inch here and then. Okay, so this is a half. I'm gonna chop it down now. So I'm cutting this at a half inch. Actually, I like more of the snowman. So this is at three quarters of an inch. And we're going to do it by three and three quarters. So there's one. Actually, I like the snowman better here. Let's just see which ones I like. Okay. And then, oh, I'll just do the three strips and you guys can help me decide. Okay. So there's one. So ooh, I kind of like this penguin. So let's do him. And then we'll do the other side. So let's do this one. Is there another pattern that you like? I kind of really like these snowflakes. So let's do this one. So we're gonna cut about three quarters. Now, if you're doing this, you wanna, like this pattern doesn't really matter, but you wanna make sure that you're doing it so that it goes with the prints. So let's do this guy. Uh, let's see, I'm gonna do this edge in here. And then, yeah, and then we'll chop it off here. So let's see, we're just gonna do some placements. So, sometimes it's just playing around. All right, so I really like this one. And I like the snowflakes beside it. So then let's pull in this guy. So we're doing strips. And then I think we'll put that one over there. I did that pattern already. Let's pull in, what's this guy? Oh yeah, let's do this guy. I need a strip of him. So it's just a matter of playing with your pieces and figuring out which ones you like. But I really like this pattern here. So let's put that in the middle. And then, let's see, oh. Maybe the stripes, yeah. I like the stripes. Okay. So there is what it kind of looks like. I think this guy's too big. We need a smaller piece. Let's bring in, I'm gonna do a different one. Let's see. I'm gonna bring a little bit of blue in here, I think. Let me just see what this looks like. And I, each strip is gonna have different look, like totally just been the way you do it, it's gonna look different. It's kind of interesting. Um, I'm gonna see. I think I'm going with the purple, so I'm gonna go back to the purple tones. Uh, and come back to this one. I think we'll do this guy. He's kind of cute. He just stands out. Okay, so we have our papers picked. So now what we're gonna do is we're going to hear them down. Let me get out my tape runner. So I would, I just gotta get it going here. Ah, nope. There we go. Okay, so we're just gonna lay our strips down. So remember, you can order all these supplies that I'm showing you today. There will be a link underneath this video. And then obviously, if you're watching on YouTube, there will be a link underneath. You can always go to my online store or you can email me your order if you're here in Canada. And obviously, your, your orders have to be here in Canada. Um, and I would be happy to have that sent to your house for you. If you're local, you could do porch pickup. So we're just doing these strips. Now I'm gonna show you another card that we made on the weekend. My friend was here and we were crafting together and I was I gave her a challenge. Now she did another card, so she made one for me so I can showcase it, but she did 
So these are three quarter inch of a strip. She actually did half inch of a strip, so it looks a little different and I wanna show you. So there's our piece and we're actually just gonna go ahead and hear this down. Oops, sometimes my paper likes to do that. Oh my goodness. My tape runner is having, are you a tape runner or are you a glue person? What do you like to use on your projects? I just don't like the feeling of glue on my hands. Okay, so we have our card that looks like that. So now what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna bring in our little mini cut and we're going to create a label. So you know I'm a huge fan of labels and I'm a huge fan of showing you pieces that like you should really purchase. And um, Cheryl says she is a tape runner person. Okay, so this is a must. This is actually seasonal labels and it goes with Christmas season. And I'm gonna show you that after. But this stamp set alone is a, these dies are a must. You have one, two, three, four, five, six labels that you can use. Like I said, I'm a huge fan of showing you how to use other projects or other dies for other reasons. And these labels, they have been on my desk all weekend and I have not pulled them off. I've been using them like crazy. So we're gonna use this long one. I'm just gonna find myself a piece of paper here. I have a stash beside me. Okay, so we're using the mini cut. Don't forget that you can, um, you could add, if you, I've had a lot of people say to me, but Ann, why, why do I need a mini one when I have a big one? I'm gonna tell you, I use my mini cutter more than I use my big one. I'm always forever pulling this one. The only time I really, really use my big stamp and cut is if I'm embossing a big folder or something like that. Okay, so we're just gonna put that off to the side. Let me move this over out of my way. And there is our label. So the other stamp set I wanted to show you, you're getting a good variety today of the, some of this products from the holiday catalog, or the July to December, is this Holly Jolly Wish stamp set. If you are a huge fan of Christmas greetings, this is a must on your shopping list. I, it's, it's one of my top favorites. I love the different fonts. I love how they mixed and mingled the fonts. That is really trendy right now. Um, and we're gonna use, uh, which, well, I'm gonna use this one, so I know this one will fit. That we could do fa la la la, be a good cheer. We're gonna do wish you a Merry Christmas. And we're going to stamp it in. I'm actually gonna stamp this in Blackberry Bliss because I think that will look just a little nicer on them. Um, would you like to see it stamped in Blackberry or would you like to see it stamped in black? Or I could do Fresh Freesia. What color would you like? Fresh Freesia, Blackberry, or black? Which color would you like the greeting stamped in? Um, which one? Fresh freezer, or Blackberry? Or black? I like darker colors too. Let's go, yeah, me too, Cheryl. I kind of like this Blackberry one and I did a project with it early, later. And I'll show you. So we are using We Wish You a Merry Christmas. Now I have to come a little closer to me so I can see what I'm stamping. Oh, I'm gonna flip it over so I can come down a little bit. Okay, so We Wish You a Merry Christmas. There is our greeting. Let's move this out of my way here. Okay, and we're gonna pop that up with our dimensionals. Another must in your craft room is dimensionals. I hope you're having a great day. Thank you for those who joined me. Hi, Patty. I see, ooh, Blackberry, yes, Patty. I like Blackberry too. Patty is also, oh, I just smudged it. Ah, let's, we might need to do another one. Yeah, let's, we're gonna do another one because I smudged it. Patty is also on my team and I'm sure she could tell you she has a girl, lots of fun. 
Okay, hold on. I'm grabbing another light thing because I smeared it. I didn't think it was that. Um, let's just cut out another one. I have to let that ink dry for a minute. Oh, that's okay. I can show you some things while we wait. Okay, so once again, I am using the seasonal. Label dies. So these are not on your shopping list. You might want to add them to your shopping list after I show you some of the projects we made with them. Really great. Always make sure you put your dies back on into the case or to however you store them because trust me, you don't not want to get. I'm just gonna use this um, ink on. Or you don't want to lose them. I've actually lost them in the garbage and had to go recycling for them. That was not fun. Okay, so here we are. We're going to stamp, we wish you a Merry Christmas. I'm just going to let that sit for a minute. Just let it. Okay, I'm getting a messy desk here. <laughs> Do you ever have that messy desk when you're crafting? Okay. So we're just going to wait for that and then we're going to bring in some embellishments. Okay. Let's give that a little wave. Hopefully we're good this time. holidays I love crafting for the holidays it's one of my favorite things to do um, it's just so much you could do tags gift card holders um, cute little boxes and bags okay so let's see I want to make sure I don't cover up any of their faces oh uh, yes thank you Patty says join the team we have a lot of fun in the discount and uh, so Patty says, yes, join the team. We have lots of fun and it's a great deal right now. Totally a great deal right now. Um, yes, Cheryl. So if you order 60 from either the annual catalog or the holiday or the July to December, you can choose a free item from Celebration. Absolutely. Okay, I am using the In Colored Jewels. Another thing you're going to want on your shopping list. And then I'm just going to show you move this off to the side and I'll show you what we've created here. Okay, so there is our project showcasing the Global Sketch 3, hashtag 302. So Global Sketch, Global Sketch 302. Um, so it was a sketch challenge. As I said, I really like doing sketch challenges because they make you think outside the box and they're just so fun. So I want to show you this card done in another pattern in another color using the penguin and I'm going to show you another piece and then I'm going to show you some penguin projects that I've made that I'll be showcasing on my blog this week and I'm going to show you some bundles that you can choose if you join my team. So same sketch I just did it with the misty moonlight and I changed up the colors so as you can see this is great we um, Cheryl and them how to be picked the fresh freesia we picked the patterns so you helped create on the fly that's what we're gonna call it creating on the fly with Anne um, so same same look same sketch two different looks so then as I said my friend was here on the weekend and I she needed a challenge and I challenged her to create using this sketch and she actually chose the frosted gingerbread I think it's called gingerbread paper um, I can show you the sweet and she did her strips in half inch, so she actually has more strips. This is the new craft paper that is behind it. Gorgeous, gorgeous, you're gonna want this. And she used the same greetings that we did from the Holly Jolly stamp set. And she just says, have a Holly Jolly Christmas. So there is one sketch done three ways. Which one is your favorite? Which, like, what do you like? They all have different looks, and I think that I love that about them. Okay, so as I was saying, I'm just gonna, yes, you can put that label anywhere. So that label, um, so this label here, 
that we used on this card is actually from the seasonal layers. It's this one. And we also used the new decorative dots. So if you place a $50 order with me this month, you're going to get these dots for free. And these dots look like this. So they have four different colors in them. Another must on your, especially if you're a huge fan of um, embellishments, this is a must. Okay, so I'm just going to move these over here to the side. So I'm going to actually show you some stuff and then I got some more projects to share with you. Okay, so as I said, right now is an amazing opportunity for you to join my creative team with, um, so you pick out $165 worth of product and you pay $135 here in Canada. In Ontario, there's no shipping or no taxes, so it's $135 and you get to choose one of these bundles for free. Now I have some of these bundles and I thought I would share what they look like in person. I don't have all of them, but I thought I would share with what I have. And I'm actually gonna be doing another video later, um, the benefits of joining my team and why you would wanna join my team. So one of the best, one of the sets you could choose from is a sweet little stocking. So it comes with this stamp set and these dies. If you're a fan of stitch, this is a stitch die. Love my tags. This actually is my chocolate and card series class for the month. That is either a to-go or in-person option. So you can choose from this bundle if you join. You can choose from, as we said earlier, the Penguin Place. So that is another stamp bundle. So these are on top of the 165 that you already get to pick out. So depending on which bundle you can pick, that value can add up pretty easy. I would say like adds up to about $80 value to your kit. Um, if you love these dies that we use today, you could choose the Christmas season as one of your bundles for joining. So right there, great stamp set. And then the other one that I have to share with you, um, I don't have the rest of them, but I will go back over and show you, is a Christmas to remember. So this is actually um, a label, like, so these dies. So this stamp set actually works with these labels. So as you can see, it's part of the painted, uh, painted Christmas season, Chris, what is it? painted Christmas season? I forget what the name of it is. So as you can tell, these dies are meant to go with this. So um, this, no, this one, and this one is in a suite. So, but these are the two that go with the Christmas to remember. So there's the pine cone. So then the other ones you can choose from is the frosted ginger. And that's actually, Brent, it's on my way. It's on, it's in transit, should be here soon. I showed you the Christmas season and I showed you the Christmas to remember. The whimsical tree, that's on order also. And so is my peaceful deer. So they should be arriving. I showed you the sweet little stockings. I also showed you the penguin place. This also is on order for me, the Peaceful Cabins. You can choose the Arctic Bears, or the Beauty of Tomorrow, or the Gorgeous Leaves, or Nature Harvest. So as I said, during July, uh, sorry, August and September, when you join my team, you get to pick one of these bundles for free, and that is like a huge value. Okay, so we're, um, if you have any questions about joining my team, I'm gonna tag, uh, post the link to find out what I offer um, as a demonstrator or as a leader. And as I said, we have a team of over 70 from the West Coast to the East Coast of Canada. So what I wanted to share with you is some other projects that I made with the penguin paper because I feel like sometimes you need to be inspired with the penguin paper. So we made these today and I will be posting pictures of these on my blog this week. So I actually made this uh, little bag uh, with my team. So every Tuesday in my team, we do a weekly stamp and chat, so I give them updates, and then just like what I'm doing with you right now at Facebook Live, I do a Facebook Live and we create projects with them. So I made that little gift box. Um, I made this one on the weekend. This is using, and like I said, I'll be posting all these on my blog and social media. This is an acrylic. Um, this is the acrylic, our little acrylic three by three boxes. Um, you could fill this with chocolate. As you can tell, it's empty because I don't have chocolate or I ate it. Um, I just thought this would be a cute little birthday. I don't think you could fit a gift card, but you could easily put some candy in there, like super cute little idea for birthday gifts. Um, we made this adorable, no, we didn't make it, I made it. <laughs> this adorable, and I will be sharing 
Um, this is a gift card holder using our note cards. So you could put your gift card in here um, and then you could write on the back to the person. So that is a neat little idea using this set. So there's another idea. Let me just put this in. And I think one of my favorites is using these. I can't remember what the name of these boxes are. I want to think I'll look them up. I'll look them up. So I made this cute little box with the, the, the DSP. And once again, I used that Holly Jolly in those labels. I embossed with the snowflake. Um, it's a, it's called wintry 3D. It's in the holiday, I mean in the annual catalog. And this is the perfect thing. You can put money in here. You can put a gift card. You could do a gift card in chocolate. You could do some note cards. Whatever you want would fit in this adorable little box. Um, those would be great gifts if you worked at a place and wanted to hand some out to your coworkers. So let me look at the name of those. Um, and I think I just saw a comment come through and I won't answer them. Uh, so this is called, these are called the mini paper pumpkin boxes. That's what these are. So great little gift that you could give to family and friends. If you were doing like a Christmas dinner, you could put these out at their spots with some chocolate inside. Um, you can easily put these into some like stockings. Like there's so much you could do with these boxes. So as I said, these I will be posting in my video for this and I will be sharing the other projects that I made with you on in my social media. But I just wanted to share what you could do with the penguins. Um, what is the Global Sketch Challenge? So Cheryl, Global Sketch Challenge is a blog on, you just, just search Global Sketch Challenge on blog, or Global Sketch Challenge on the website. And every Monday they go live with a sketch. So it could be a color sketch, it could be a, a layout sketch, it could be a theme. Um, and then they have different designers around the world design projects. So they'll show, so this, this Monday, their theme is flowers. So to make, create a project with flowers. And then they have designed like artisans or artists or um, like they have team members who show their projects. And then you can create your project and then skip, add it to their link. It's a really great way of just seeing what other people do, but also a great way to see how others. And then you can go check out their gallery to see what other people have done. So. I will be participating in the challenge this week. It's flowers, so I just need to think about what I wanted to do. All right, so how did you guys like the Penguin Playma Playmate? So as I said, let me find my celebration catalog here. It's got buried after everything. So with a $60 order, you can choose this, this, pro this paper for free. So right there, it says free with a $60 purchase. Um, I'm gonna give you a tip. This paper is going to sell out quickly. So if you're thinking of what to order, you're gonna to wanna to order it the first. And look at all the adorable projects you can make with this paper. So cute. Um, so as I showed you in the one pattern, it had the animals. You could totally cut out the animals and use them in other things. And if you were on my mailing list, um, you would have been sent a card previous to let you know about celebration. So hopefully you guys received that in the mail. I know this mail is slow these days. All right, so does anyone have any questions um, before we end our Facebook Live or any of the projects? As I said, I will be sharing these on my social media. I've taken pictures, so I'll be posting. Um, any questions on our project or our joining? Anything like that before we end? Like I said, it is an amazing opportunity. Stampin' Up! is an amazing company. Um, I, like the friendships I've met around the world, I often think, wow, I would not have met you if it wasn't for stamp paper and inks. So that's another thing. You're going to meet some really cool friends. And honestly, some of those friends are my best friends right now. And we talk daily and I just love that. I'm really excited. I like these past 13, 14 years, Stampin' Up! has blessed my family with, um, different opportunities as me. I've grown as a person, um, you know, I never thought I would have a team and now I have a team of over 70. I really have grown and I stepped outside my comfort zone, which is for the better. And it just makes my heart happy to know that I am sharing my love of crafting with other people. So I hope you will consider joining us. Um, think of it as like a Costco membership. You can test drive it, see if you like it. And if not, if it's not for you, then you 
you know, you can you can always leave Stampin' Up, but I think once you join, you're gonna wanna stick around because trust me, it's amazing. Um, oh, thanks Cheryl. Yes, the gift card holder, uh, a little tip, we're making that later in with my team, maybe. I haven't decided which project I'm doing yet, but I will pop on and show you how to do that eventually. I might pop on one day this week and do that with you guys. If you would like to see that on a Facebook Live, I will definitely pop on and do that. All right, everyone, I want to thank you so much for joining me on our Monday, which is on a Tuesday. I hope you have a great rest of your day. Just a reminder, our catalogs have gone live. Um, remember, if you're placing an order this month, you make sure you use the hostess code because you're going to get a free pack of the decorative mats. And who wouldn't want these? Dots, sorry, not mats, dots. And... Yeah, there's just so much exciting things happening because it is the most wonderful time of year as we start creating for the holidays. So thanks everyone for stopping by today and I will be back later this week with another Facebook Live showing you some more Penguin projects. Thanks everyone. Have a great day.